Agency that protects animals from abuse and neglect, but who's watching them? Last summer, after Fox 47 dogs, after 47 dogs rather, were seized in a dog fighting ring, they ended up in the Ingham County Animal Control. But when allegations of neglect surfaced, the state started an investigation. In March, Michigan Humane Society started looking into five dogs at the Ingham County Animal Control. Four of them were part of a dog fighting ring that had been busted up the year before. Today, Alani Latang spoke with the director of the Ingham County Animal Control, who says he was taken back by the findings. These came in during our busiest time of year, right after we had done a large scale hoarding seizure where we took 99 cats and two dogs. So um, basically last summer was a very busy summer, handling a lot of very difficult animals. That's the answer the Ingham County Animal Control Director John Dynan gave me. The Michigan Humane Society's investigation focused around those five dogs. You guys are an animal control shelter. You guys get dogs all the time. You know, a big influx might be a strain on the staff and the resources that you guys offer, but is that really an excuse we could be using here for why these dogs slipped through the cracks? I, I don't think we did anything wrong. We had a lot of dogs, and you're right. This is our profession. This is what we do, and I think we did a great job. Were we perfect? No. Um, can we do better? Yeah, I think we can. Three of the dogs contracted whipworm and lost a significant amount of weight. Animal control officers noticed they were very thin and told the deputy director who sent them to an outside vet. The Humane Society's investigation found that in all the cases, a maintenance program or medical and monitoring records were lacking. Dinan says the facility they are currently in is partially to blame. But this is an old facility and it really has a lot of problems. It's inadequate. Right now, we don't have as many outdoor kennels as indoor kennels. So when we move the dogs outside to clean their indoor kennels, we don't have the manpower to disinfect between every time. The investigation showed all five dogs, although aggressive, were in good physical health when they arrived last summer and fall. That health continued to decline with seizing, vomiting, weight loss, internal hemorrhaging, and in one case, a dog had swallowed a foreign object which was preventing him to eat. These dogs are, are super athletes, and to bring them in and hold them long term in, in kennels here is not what they're used to. We did what we could. We provided them with enrichment. The investigation says medical records were scarce and communication between staff was lacking. We are tightening up on our record keeping. These allegations are not something Dinan or his staff have taken lightly. When we are accused of something, we certainly wanted to be transparent, and we wanted to, if there were problems in here, we wanted to address them. That was Alani Latang reporting of those five dogs in the investigation. Two were put to death, two were adopted, and one is still at animal control. Denon says he is taking the investigation very seriously and will hold anyone on his staff accountable if necessary. Now, in the meantime, he says they are computerizing medical records so everyone has access to them, and the veterinarian director and deputy director will be doing weekly walkthroughs. A new Ingham County Animal Control is also being built and is expected to open next year.